We welcome you back to Grace Hall on the campus of Lehigh University. Sean O'Neill on the mat for Cornell from Richboro, Pennsylvania, a senior. Lehigh's talented freshman, Matt Ruppel from Deer Lodge, Montana. He was the only Lehigh champion in the Sheridan tournament a couple of weeks ago. So and he quickly pursues his opponent, but to no avail. O'Neill is a freshman. He had a brother was a uh, Cornell wrestler that retired, uh, uh, graduated, I think, uh, last year or the year before, but and was a good wrestler. But this kid is a That's just right. a He is a freshman. Youngster. The, the score sheet is wrong. Working Our in, apologies to Sean. We saved him four years of tuition. Work it in. <laughs> 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 which his parents I'm sure appreciate but he is a freshman I know he, he is from Richboro Pennsylvania he wrestled down in Council Rock where yeah. the Retrieve brothers did some of their nice ankle Dude, pick takes the Lehigh wrestler down that's whistle are you okay okay let's go take a quick nice look at this pick. anytime you see that ankle there it is Hello. Face me. Face me. hold on to the head though that's the key you anchor the head pull down on it and sweep the ankle you ever wondered why your ankle picks it. don't work if you don't Top. pull down on the head? Get away. Grupal escapes. Neutral. Quickly moves in. He's got a lot of strength up top also. Two. But he is, well, two points. Quickly awarded. Control back to the Cornell wrestler. 4 1. Well, I question if it was two. They were under yeah. when he went yeah. behind them. His knees were down, son. His knees were down after he got behind them. His, his knees were down ahead. When he got behind him, he was on his feet. Pop. You run that one in slow motion, I, Sandy, and if I'm right, I put think, it on. If I'm not, forget it. I think uh, Rupel Rupel's just is a little bit surprised by the way the Cornell wrestler has come on. One. Quickly Neutral. gets an escape. He was Working. careless, I think, when he... I agree. Okay? We'll take a look at the Let's replay go. on that, Larry, and we'll see... Uh, there's a whizzer in there, right? Now he's up. Okay, that... Well, let me tell you. There's control. He's on his way up. Four to two. They weren't on, the two criteria that I keep harping about is take down and take it to the mat and gain control. There's no control. Work it in. Sometimes you get yourself surprised when you got a lot of confidence. So Matt feeling confident after coming off the Sheridan tournament where he performed so superbly. Working in. Up here against a pressure. that guy two. picking that ankle again. The same move he pulled the last time. Neutral. Arupo will muscle his way out of this. He's definitely the heavier of the two wrestlers. Working off a cradle combination. He does not have the... Neutral. Long as he holds on to that left Neutral. leg. Now he finally manages to get it out, and it's 4-4. Four, four. Let's go. Let's work. Well, the former Council Rock Use wrestler it. picks up that ankle nicely. He was an 85-pounder last year at Council Rock, and uh, I think they're both freshmen, but the maturity difference and the strength difference should tell. Over, over I would say, after the six-minute mark. <laughs> after the five-minute mark, I mean. If we get there. Muscle definition is in favor of the Lehigh wrestler, freshman Matt Rupp, Ruppel. Well, Shows well, remember says, those, uh, let's go, let's work. Shell says that's a course at Lehigh, muscle definition. Exercise science. It's I, remember, I remember at this weight, John McCorkle had a great deal of that muscle definition. At one let's time. go, let's work. Stalling! We have a stalling call in the bottom. Grupo should stalling definitely down. favor it at this weight class because what Cornell did was take their 58-pounder and put him up to 67, and their 67-pounder went to 77, and this guy's a listed 77-pounder wrestling 90. So they moved everybody up. Okay, let's go. Whenever I see a wrestler come on strongly and, and surprise a Lehigh wrestler, I'm always reminded of those Pop. occasions when that used to happen to Colin Kilrain when he... He would get surprised by someone and become absolutely violent <laughs> in, the, uh, in the final moments. Here's where you got to be careful. Oh. Watch that leg. you got to be careful. Now he's tight waisted. Now he's putting on a half. Gaining near fall points, but the period's about to end. Three, seven, four. Rupal. 
just stepped through and took that head. Tight waist to get thrust into the mat. A whisper of a second away from the pin. Choose. And that, that, those kind of situations scare me, Marv, because when you lift your opponent like that and drill him, you could end up costing six points to yourself. That's one of the problems, Larry, when you get a team that decides to put all these kids in, or young freshmen and lightweight kids against good wrestlers. The Lehigh team is a is a mature, excellent wrestling team, and you can't come down here and use this as an experimental laboratory for kids in there when they're outweighted. You're taking a yeah. physical chance. No question, the risk is there. Now Rupal is going to try to put in this cradle and turn his man if he can. But you know, the rules don't uh, give any uh, credence to a weight differential. They just say, regardless of the weight, you got to bring him to the back safely. Yeah, two point take. You're right about that. Nine four. Okay, let's work. Now he gets that arm. That arm. Work it up. Trapping the leg. Maybe working, trying to trap that cradle combination. Go over the top and slip the hand underneath. There, there it is. <coughs> Rupal has the combination, loses it. Fans recognize that cradle. Have to bring Jim Riley back to show us how to do that. Well, he was, he was as, as slick as a subway train. He could really... He hit it, and he took the shoulder roll with it. Jim hey, Weisenflew, a great it. wrestler from Wilkes. Uh, you know, Larry, I was... Uh, Eastern's got four straight pins with the cradle with that same combination. Stalemate top. Let's go. I wonder, Larry, if with the fact that uh, Lehigh has just about won this match, whether or not they will elect to forfeit on, son, heavyweight again. I will bet you they will forfeit Because heavyweight. Steve Vetch is still suffering hey, his son, injury. Do it. And that Turner does not have to risk Vetch in this okay, match in it. order to still win. Top. It appears that he may. Where's the young heavyweight from Virginia? Well, they're considering they might keep him on the bench for the balance of the year. Kind of a red shirt. Nice sit out by that Cornell was, Grappler. That was John Morris. And Neil slipping there. around. He's trying to come around and gain a reversal. Now, and you don't, Two. there he gets it. Reversal. Put it on the legs. His Rupal turns right back, but the control still rests with O'Neal. He's squirming around the back. Rupal trying to sit okay. back into O'Neal. Period will end, and Rupal continues to lead 9-6. Could have turked that leg up just then as he came across and then reached back and chanced and chaliced the arm. He just got want? the instructions to go down, take the down Lehigh position. Third, let's go. So he, if he gets off the legs, explodes out of there. I'd say uh, for a okay, guy that's uh, 10 pounds lighter, I think uh, for Sean O'Neill's putting up a gallant fight. He's down close to the home, folks, and he's going to let him know he's around. Well, that, I remember in the, in the years when uh, Don McCorkle used to wrestle Unlimited. I remember those matches when uh, Don had a couple of matches when he uh, was always at 190 and was to come up against some huge people and always acquitted himself well. It was like tossing fleas around when he finally got down to 190. Rupal has wrestled this match more like you would if you were in the wrestling room. He's trying things. And I don't Neutral. think he thinks there's any possibility Neutral. he can get beat here. He's ahead four plus a, a big riding time margin. Well, former District 1 wrestler is giving him a Watching. run for his money. Two. As he gains the takedown, makes it 12 6. 110 left. Okay, let's work. Watch the arm, watch your 90, watch your 90. Riding time is already assured, 12-6 lead. Okay, let's go. 40 seconds to go. Leg. Remember last year in the uh, 
150 pound, five pound state championships. This weight class was watch it, watch it. Banks, let's go. Who we saw wrestle time last week at the uh, Sheridan. Well, Larry, Steve Vetch is about as relaxed as Ready? he can be. The, the Cornell Time. heavyweight is jumping Let's around go. there, but I don't know if he realizes Close that on, you're down. he's probably not going to wrestle anybody. Vetch is just sitting on the bench, hasn't even taken off his shirt, so unless something strange happens, it, okay, we it. may well have that uh, forfeit Top. at heavyweight. Rupo gives up the Neutral. escape, 12-7. Well, we'll be out of here in less Work than two in. hours. Work it in. I think Roger Clow was the first one to uh, make the prediction that uh, Bench wouldn't wrestle. Of all the experts sitting up here, I commend Roger for that astute observation. Neutral. Neutral. Period ends. 13 to 7. And so Lehigh takes the lead 25 to 10. Thad Turner is now going over to the officials to inform them that Lehigh will forfeit heavyweight because of the injury to Steve Vetch. Six points go up on the board for Cornell. So the final score will be 25 for Lehigh and 16 for Cornell.